Yeah. Sir, how's it going? Good. <laughs> what else you got to say to us? Nothing. Oh, that's not nice. Okay. Don't you dare. Oh, it's definitely going. No. Yeah. No. It's, it's what? Don't put it on video. It's, it's totally on video. What are you going to give me for not putting this up on front of the church on Sunday? Totally on video. Um, I don't know. Okay. Well, think about it. Because right now, oh, it's like the lead-in shot. Well, maybe not lead-in, but right in the middle. Boom. Oh, yeah. My name is Pauline, and um, my husband has muscular dystrophy, and we just found that out a few months back, and we're facing uh, him going on disability, um, so we're hitting a financial situation that we've never been in before. Um, I saw the marquee about this church and what they're offering, and there's no other place I'd rather be than here in Owasso with the community that we live in. I've always been able to help others, um, so being on the other end is really special, and being able to feel the love that people are giving is amazing, uh, truly amazing. You guys have done a wonderful job. Thank you so much. Oh, it's going fabulous. This is my first time getting to be here, and I am totally excited that I might do it next year, too. <laughs> might is the word. <laughs> okay, no, no more, no more. What this means to you? Well, it's a real blessing because we were wondering how we were going to get all of this. And uh, I just want to thank you for doing it. Uh, no. It definitely won't fit me. How's it going back here so far? It's too little, I'm sure. <laughs> Ow. It's going fine. Yeah? Got everybody in the positions and people are coming. Hi, my name is Patricia. This is my son Trevor, my daughter Olivia. We have a 12 year old still at home, a 17 year old still at home, and a 3 year old. Um, New Heights has given me school supplies, socks, underwear, um, clothes, and shoes for the kids, and it is greatly appreciated because I'm a single mother of five. You said, and I'm her Aunt Nancy, and we really appreciate everything that you guys have done she would not have been able to do anything i mean we're helping but it's just hard with five kids so thank you so much we do appreciate it and right now i am out of a job and i have two kids at home and this really does help me out a lot because i didn't i do have a little voucher thing through cherokee nation too that's helping but this is what I needed because I didn't have school supplies for me. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. No. Nope. No. Nope. Tell us. Tell us. Nope. You just told me how the, the runners are doing a great job and what a great bunch of kids they are, and now you can tell the church it'll be great. Come on, because he doesn't like being on TV. The runners, the gentlemen back there, yes. all the gentlemen back yes. there are great kids to work with. We've had a great day and had lots of fun. The whole group. All right. Okay, go ahead. I would want to say thank you so much for doing this for our family. I take care of my nieces and my nephews, and God sent them to me. Without you guys, it'd be really hard for me. So thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you so much. Too fast for me. No, was that again? Oh, okay. Thank you. Whenever you're ready. Um, my name's Andrea. Uh, moved here to Owasso about four years ago or so. Um, moved here at a domestic violence shelter um, called uh, Day Springville. It's a Christian based place. It was a wonderful place, um, but we just never got established in a church home Day here. Day and night church. Day and night church. <laughs> it was all the time. Um, I uh, recently got stuck with a C spine surgery and um, couldn't work. I haven't been working for two months. It's put me in a very serious financial hardship, and so when school time came around, I didn't know what I was going to do. Um, I called the Wassel Community Center, and they told me about New Heights and the service that you guys were doing. So we we came up, and it's been a very humbling experience. I was raised in church. My grandfather's a pastor, and uh, I never thought to turn to the church for this kind of help because I was always involved with the helping. Tell me about grandpa. Tell them about grandpa. Grandpa was 91. He just passed away a week ago. 
up until his death, he was still writing notes and putting his sermons on paper and mailing them to everybody he knows, just getting everything in his heart out because he knew his time was coming. Uh, but you know, he's given me such a great foundation, and uh, services like this show me that that kind of heart is still out there, and it's wonderful to see. And uh, I do hope to find a church home that we can get back to being part of service again. And I just wanted to thank everybody from the bottom of my heart.